Hello chess lovers, Surin here and I have a very interesting game for you played by Hikaru Nakamura against Roger Peterson. This game was played in 2001 at 29th World Open. At that time Nakamura was 13 years old but already he had a very impressive rating 24-28. Now let's see what happened on the board. Nakamura started the game with e4 and c5 by Roger Peterson, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and e6, black goes for Schevening and variation. The d6 and e6 pawn center affords black a solid defensive barrier, control of the critical d5 and e5 e5 squares and retains flexibility to break in the center with either e5 or d5. Bishop e3 was played, a6, f3, b5, now comes g4, bishop b7, queen d2, queen c7 and white castles queenside. Nakamura chose English attack which usually leads to very sharp variations. White is usually organizing his game on the king's side by starting a pawn storm, meanwhile black is counterattacking on the queen's side. Bishop e7, now comes h4, knight d7, bishop d3, knight b6 and queen f2. Later we will see that this queen on f2 square will play a very important role in the game. Right now already black has to be very careful because there are some knight takes b5 threats and then bishop takes b6. Knight d7 was played, king b1, a very important prophylactic move when you are castling queenside, knight c5, and here we go, bishop takes b5. This is a very standard sacrifice in typical positions. By going for a piece sacrifice in return, white is gaining several pawns against a piece, which later in the end game are becoming stronger than a piece. A takes b5 was played, knight takes b5 and queen c6, which is a mistake and after this move white is managing to gain advantage. It was better to place the queen on c8 square. Now you will see the difference. In the game we see queen c6, now comes knight takes d6 check, bishop takes d6 and rook takes d6. Imagine that the queen were on c8 square already, in this case after rook takes d6 the queen wouldn't have been under attack. Let's just have a look that after knight takes b5 black plate queen c8. Then after knight takes d6, bishop takes d6, rook takes d6, black queen is not attacked and black could play knight a4 and the players have equal chances. But instead after knight takes b5 we see queen c6. Now comes knight takes d6, moves which we have already seen, rook takes d6, queen takes d6, now comes bishop takes c5, we have a deadly fork and black is going to lose one more piece, bishop takes b6. The storm is over and now let's have a look what do we have. White managed to get a knight and three pawns against a rook which actually gives white advantage. Black castled king side, rook d1, white also has a total control over the d file, this d8 square is successfully covered by the dark squared bishop, bishop c6, b3, rook c8 and here we go a4. Now white will strengthen the bishop on b6 square, bishop c8, king b2, rook a6 and here we go a5. Actually these pawns are unstoppable and there is not much black can do. Queen b7, rook d6, rook c6, queen d4. Nakamura is ready to exchange the rooks. We see rook takes c6, bishop takes c6 and believe it or not but after b4 Roger Patterson resigned. Let's just have a look one of the possible lines what could have happened. Now if queen d7 for example then white could also go for exchange of queens and then play b5. If king f8 then a6, if f6 then bishop c5 check and then a7 and then white king can approach and actually this is going to be winning though still black could have tried his luck and prolonged the game but after b4 understanding that his position is hopeless Roger Patterson resigned.
another very impressive game by Hikaru Nakamura. I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.